Greetings, unsettled souls. Go! All right, I said I was going to give you an update on the uh, people that fell from the plane earlier, and then I went into the baby story. I'm sure people are going to mention it. There's so much to get to, my God, with all of this Afghanistan stuff. Yes, I, I did put it in the wrong order, but I, I kept my word. I'm getting to it right now. Uh, Fox News, Afghan soccer player who died in fall from U.S. military plane had big dreams, says friend and teammate. He had dreams to help our country, said Zaki Anwari's friend. Ugh. This is just so depressing. And again, I, I, like I said in the other video, it looks like one of them did live for a while. I, I tell the story in the other video. You can see it in today's posting about the baby that was saved by the... Uh, the Marine. It, it, one of them, I saw a video that I didn't get a chance to post. It was very grim. Maybe I probably shouldn't have anyway. It looked like his head was tied together and he was conscious, but it looks like this is one of the other people. I don't know if the video I saw was from the same plane or if this has happened on more than one plane. This is just awful. Zaki Anwari, an Afghan national youth team soccer player who died when he fell from the US, a U.S. military plane leaving Hamad Karzai International Airport in Kabul, had big dreams, his good friend and former teammate told Fox News in an exclusive interview. His friend's brother, who was translating, told Fox News he told me he had a lot of dreams like becoming the best player in Afghanistan. The friend and his brother agreed to speak on condition of anonymity due to concerns of retribution from the Taliban, who promised to be so fair. So they're, they're worried about speaking, even though the, if the Taliban wouldn't say, hey, you lost enough. Your brother fell from the air, you know, you lost enough. No, they're worried the Taliban's going to do even more to them. Let that sink in. Anwari, who was only 19 years old, was reportedly trying to hold on to the outside part of the plane as it departed. Zaki's dream, one dream, is to arrive in America and also to serve our family in here, to send money, the brother said. He had big dreams to help our country. They explained that when the U.S. military airplane from Kabul was leaving, Zaki felt like it was the last chance to go to another country. The translator said his brother also dreams of playing soccer in the U.S. So clearly, he still talks about his brother as if he's still here. And again, on top of that, I, I did mention it in the other video. I mentioned a piece of it here. Um, I don't know if he fell sooner. I don't know if the person I'm about to address is uh, even falling from the same height. I don't think it's possible to live. It looked like the gentleman was missing a section of his leg and that his head needed to be tied together with his turban. Um, that is, I don't believe that's the soccer player. It could be. I don't believe that that's the soccer player, but I did see the video. And I think it's important to take away, again, sometimes what's not mentioned, you'll read over it, and all of it is so terrible that what I mentioned earlier maybe doesn't sink in, and I want to mention it because we keep hearing people trying to cover for Biden and saying, you know, the Taliban really learned its lesson after all. Even Donald Trump was dealing with them. Donald Trump had them on a very short leash. If you look at the transcripts, at one point he said, Do you understand? In other words, asking them if they understood the fact that if they harmed Americans or their interests at all as departure was taking place with no deadline, carved in stone such as it is now, if this was to have happened, none of this would have happened with Trump. They might have done God only knows what afterwards, but this would not have been the case now. And since we have what we have here, we have people running the country in the Taliban, who the left and people, again, covering for Biden, are out there saying, well, you know, they're more moderate now. They can be more trusted now. Really? If that's the case, then why wouldn't the Taliban, like I, like I had stated, these people had their brother fall, what, 2,000 feet? We saw the footage to his death. And yet they're not going to say, hey, that's enough. You've suffered enough. You've been through enough. 
That's how cold and callous they are as their seizing power. And we're supposed to believe that they're not going to launch terrorism and allow uh, launch terrorist strikes or allow terrorism to breed there? Based on what?